let's just do one for an example just to see if it would be available. Um, I just want to see if that one of those pixels you have on your site would allow you to create a specific audience. So we can just check to see because I saw it had it some form of a timer on your site. So we just go here and then do that one, which was the connect target find by um, aggregated value. Okay. Do you want to see this page connection? timer? See this here, page yeah. timer. Yeah, that's the um, yeah, you got it. And then you just uh, type in whichever amount of time. So you could type in, uh, let's say, let's do like 350. You could put in. Yeah. Um, is greater than 350 and then you could just name that as an audience and that's going to be its own lookalike and that's going to allow you to create a lot of different lookalikes okay which is very unique yeah okay i might actually uh use that um tool Yeah, I, I mean, you would do all these. Page scroll, you could do it all. It's already yeah. here. Yeah. So like you could do is greater than 75. That's scrolled past 75%. So that's another one. And then create lookalikes from that, right? Yeah. And then you could do another one that's like visiting device. And then you just type in whichever it is. And then you just find this information by going here, dropping this down opening it up, seeing what information it's sending along. This one's just a parameter for that, but yeah. So, I mean, like you could pull these things in okay, and use all that data. For lookalikes. And then for new audiences, um... Is there sort of a framework that you use or kind of universal, you know, principles? Yeah, totally. Uh, primarily that's like all in our uh, trainings, but uh, essentially what you would want to do is, I mean, like the really just right here, if you build these out and just keep them um, of highly qualified individuals, so, I mean, like if we wanted to really break it down is like what you could do is instead of just like, you know, shooting in the dark here, um, we get really specific. I know we're short on time, but if we went to, uh, analytics here and we created those audiences in here in advance, just to get an idea of what the, uh, actual conversion rates were prior. Um, we could just go ahead and do a filter. We could create a new filter performed an event, performed that, uh, there it is, the, uh, the connect one that you had. Mm -hmm. And then the, uh, what I was just talking about, the page timer. Yeah. I click, I select that, I do greater than it. And then I would just choose a value, which would be, I should say larger than a hundred. And you can see as this loads, Let's just give it a second. 0.66 purchase conversion rate. So I mean like we could change this and do maybe a thousand. See what happens if anything changes. What's thousand seconds or? Yeah. yeah. 2.51. So I mean, you went from a 0.66 purchase conversion rate to a 2.51. You then say for every 1,000 individuals you have come through your pipeline, you're converting, you know, a pretty good amount of them, 25 of them are coming or purchasing. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that would increase your revenue substantially just by following this model, you know, uh, because your conversion rates are going up.
And then you could just like say, okay, maybe we want to go higher than that. Like, let's just go to. Can you, can you just um, explain again what you said just now? Because I'm not sure I understood what you were saying. So essentially you can see what the audience conversion rate is yeah. before you create the lookalike. So okay. we could create, if you say, you know, I want to hire, if I want higher quality people converting, then just find audiences that have a higher purchase conversion right here. Okay. So basically what you're doing is filtering up top and it turns out that people who spend more than X amount on the page are converting here at 2.25. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. at, a, at a higher rate than what your average is. Ah, and then okay. if we just do like, then we can just hit create custom audience and then build our lookalike off of it. Yeah. So, okay. so like you can literally create audiences that have super high conversion rates and optimize towards individuals who would most likely be the, them to convert. Yeah. Now what I know you, I mean, we 